back with the playbook discussing like European tours. And I've had a bunch of people asking this question and they wanted my recommendation on what I think. So I've actually personally participated on two tours. Um, one of them, I was a player when we went to Scotland and we actually did a tournament first or we went for a tournament, but we did like three or four training sessions with a group. And then I've also done one um, where I was invited to help coach a group. So uh, I do think there's benefit, but you just need to understand the context of it. So it's almost like a glorified vacation, really, because what I've noticed with a lot of, of the international tours, like the European tours, is it's more sightseeing, it's more based on an experience, and that's not a bad thing per se, right? If you have the resources to do that and you wanna take that trip with your child, it's fine, no problem. But if you're looking to get the full-fledged uh, value of what European football or South American football looks like, my recommendation, and it's like in the other video, is to train directly with a club. So again, division three or division two, whatever foot, whatever pathway you can get your foot through, take it. Um, I do think the tour has value, like I said, but you just gotta be careful because it's not the full experience and they're usually very expensive. Whereas you can go train with a club, get a hotel, flights, probably around the same price. And at least you know exactly what the training looks like. You might even be able to participate like in a friendly match or something. And you get the full value of what, again, European football or South American football would look like. So those are the type of things that you really need to keep in mind because I think there's value to them because you're going to have a group. But a lot of times they just kind of select random kids that nobody really knows. There might be two or three people that are friends of your player or whatever. But if you're going to go over there and, and compete, it's hard to do that without a group of players that everybody's familiar with. That's why when you look at the best teams in the world, they've been built over two or three years where they can build a group, add one or two players to the mix year after year, and they build a superb team that can compete with anybody. So those are just things to think about with that and uh, the recommendation that I give you. And um, you just gotta be careful because a lot of times it can be money grabs. And I know that some people make a lot of money from those because they charge a set fee ahead of time. And like I said, you gotta be careful because a lot of times they're really set up for sightseeing. So you might train three days, get two games, but then you're going and doing all these stadium tours, and seeing the culture, which is great. Like I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but if you want to see real football and how your son compares to the level, your daughter compares to the level, then training with a club is my personal recommendation for you. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Again, think outside the box and you'll find ways to make it happen.